whatever this bezel is made of, it is very strong. How's it going guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Furion outdoor TV lineup, particularly the full shade and partial sun models. With us on the floor, we have the 55 inch, which is our partial sun and the 43 inch, which is our full shade. So with outdoor TVs, there's really not that much to talk about because we're not looking at some crazy expensive OLED technology or QLED technology. It really just comes down to your standard mid-tier TVs. So essentially what you're paying for is the weatherproofing and you know the durability because remember at the end of the day if you're buying a furion outdoor tv you're most likely putting it outside so the tvs themselves are pretty similar other than the actual brightness they both have an ip54 weatherproofing rating and their remote is ip67 so you know this isn't waterproof you can't go dunk it in a pool but if it gets rained on there's a good chance that it's going to survive over your standard television so since we're looking at these two in particular which i'm glad we have two different models you have to ask yourself what is you know your need what is your backyard situation are you putting this under gazebo or is it right under your porch where there's not going to be any sun because it's all in the name full shade partial sun what's going to work better for you so the partial sun has a nit rating of 750 which is pretty close to most of your standard lcd led tvs however when you go to the full shade it's going to drop to 400 nits so it's not extremely bright but if you're also putting it in an area where there's no sun directly on the screen it's not really going to matter now it does have three hdmi ports two usb ports your antenna port and left right audio channels now with these especially more than your normal TV because it's outdoors, TV audio is just not going to cut it. Not to mention, it does have this frame around it that's keeping it protected from the weather. So you may have asked, hey, what, what would you do in your situation with sound? Well, first I'd look for, you know, possibility of running actual hardwired speakers throughout your backyard. This is tends to be something that's pretty easy to do when you're building a house, but if you already have a house built, it might be a little difficult to kind of dig wire and you know set it up the way you like. So if you can't, I would recommend you at least get a Furion soundbar, which can be mounted under the TV. So in my backyard, we actually have some Klipsch rock speakers set through a Sonos amp, which we can control all of our music and through the TV. So that's kind of our audio solution. And, you know, personally, I like that a lot. But if I didn't have the capability of running that, I would definitely put a soundbar because the TV audio is just not going to cut it. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I'm not a big TV audio fan. This has become you know, a pretty common standard when it comes to TV audio. And that's simply because the screens are so flat that there's nowhere to put good speakers, right? I mean, before with the DLPs, they had the speakers on the side, speaker below, and you know, it kind of worked, but nothing was ever good as, you know, the full surround systems. And, you know, especially even more relevant today with how flat everything is, all the speakers are going straight into the ground. So they're really not true speakers. It's just a way to get audio out and, Every brand does this. This is not just a Furion thing. So I'd make sure that, you know, you kind of go into that knowing that you're probably going to want a soundbar. Now, this can be mounted on the wall as you would expect with the standard fish and mount. Other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot more to cover. You know, if you want an outdoor TV and you want it to be protected from the weather that it might endure, this is kind of what you want to be looking at. That's going to be all for this one, and if you guys haven't already, check out some of our other cool videos on products like these. If you guys are interested in getting the best deal on this product, email YouTube at Waltz. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos or deals.